everyone. So if you two are facing a problem, um, not uh, able to open any emulator on your VS Code, then you may need to watch this video until the end. So I'm gonna start with um, the Android emulator. Go ahead and, and uh, click on the Android Studio um, Virtual Device Manager and uh, on your ma device click on these three dots and just wipe data on the confirm this action then close this um, android studio then go ahead open the visual studio code from the beginning and open your folder <coughs> So I'm gonna try to run a Flutter application, open. So here is my Flutter app now. Uh, so you can choose, uh, there's two options. The one which is from, you click on emulator and you choose view Android emulator and you choose the one that you want to run your app on it. So this is the first option. Here is my emulator now. Uh, showing on my Visual Studio code. The other one, I'm going to show you after that. So you may need to wait a little bit for your app to get run, especially if it is the first time that you are running your app on a, a simulator. So The other option is to mm -hmm. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Sorry for the delay. Now start debugging. And here you can see that it's running. Here is my app, my Flutter app running on my Android emulator perfectly. Perfect. Now I'm going to close and show you the other way to do it. The other way is to click on Shift Command P. You get this menu, just click on Launch Emulator and choose again which one do you want and it's going to um, launch an emulator for you. So you see that the next time that you launch an emulator, uh, there is uh, less time to wait for. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, fix the, your issue with the iOS simulator. Go ahead and um, open your Xcode. You can create uh, any new project or just open one that you already have on your uh, um, computer. So uh, here is my folder and here is my folder running in here you can choose which one Mac or any other uh, uh, iPhone phone simulator uh, and you can also create a new device by clicking here under the plus button you can give it a name iPhone maybe i'm gonna choose iphone 11 click iphone 11 because i already have the 14 13 and 12 so creates and here is my new device so this is just option how to add a device now i have these devices i can choose which one i want my app to run on it uh, I'm gonna change and put my iPhone and try to run my app from uh, the Xcode. If it is working uh, from Xcode, then it should work from VS Code. So here is my uh, iOS simulator. And the app is working perfectly in here. Go ahead and reduce this uh, window. Uh, go back to your VS code and from here go ahead and click again under this and view iOS simulator and here choose 
the one that you want to run your app on it i'm gonna choose my iphone the one that is already open here and uh, go back from main run and start debugging now you see that it's launching on my iphone in a debug mode so we you should wait a little bit for your app to get launched on uh, uh, the device and here we go my app is running on the ios simulator i hope this video helps you as well oh before i forget there is a package that you may need to install on your vs code so go ahead and uh, click on complete right complete flutter here is a complete flutter extension pack this helps you uh, with um, writing your code and running it and all the stuff it may helps you again um, as well so this is it uh, i hope this video helps you thumbs up if you like it and bye bye